I'm not sure, was this 993 Cabriolet also there before? If not, I'm just filming it a second time. But I'm pretty sure that I've not seen this uh, 944. This red one, this one was definitely not here before. <laughs> these wheels, by the way, are these that were looking most likely like the like the um, PBS wheels for Volkswagen. Of course, these ones aren't. But I'm just uh, meaning about the design. So back then when I was talking to you about the wheels, the BBS wheels on the Volkswagen Golf 2, oh, I'm so beautiful, I can remember that. The yellow letterings. The real yellow letters, very cool guys, so beautiful, so beautiful. But this has been the Housewives Porsche. Not sure if it's also the name for the 944 or only for the 924, but well, guys, oh, I have to change the battery. And guys, this here is a Morgan Plus 4. British Roadster. Built on a frame, by the way. It's something that uh, some people or many people do not know. And as far as I know, they are still building their Morgans on wooden frames. This is surprising me. I've never seen one uh, with seats in the But most probably the most only season. So the plus four is a little bit rarer. Well, the fact is that the Morgans are in fact very rare. So And 20 definitely enough for a convertible or roadster. These are made to cruise, guys, so they don't need to be fast. Still hoping to see a Morgan Aero. Haven't seen one for ages, and at least not at these meetings. So, or something before I started this channel. And here, guys, this is a blue, uh, a blue baby blue, what kind of baby blue uh, pontone. And left side is the black one I was telling you before. Absolutely loving these old wheels. And something that I'm just noticing here, because um, this one has the indicator glass here, and here's also an indicator. According to the license plate, this is maybe a 190. I will figure it out very soon. And here, guys, this is the black one. Most probably in 180D, because I was hearing it when it was coming. So this one has definitely a diesel engine. Pretty cool, huh? So today is the day of the pontons. So uh, also beautiful, guys. Beautiful. And this one, well, here's no indicator, but here, and it has a white steering wheel. <laughs> Tachometer, speedometer up to 140 kilometers. So, this one, oh, this one is by the way a 190 diesel. Look at this, guys. And this one here, 
it's looking more modern. It's looking different than the other one. But also very beautiful guys. And what you can see, 190 diesel. The black one. The other one is also a 190 diesel. Maybe this was a facelift for the interior. but maybe someone can tell me because I'm not the total expert about every car and every Mercedes and so on. And here guys is the L3500 or L311. I'm thinking this is already 70 years old guys. And the bus from that body or that front was called the O3500. So if you are watching my video about the uh, historic uh, bus meeting in Speyer, then uh, you will see also two buses with the O3500 front. One has different uh, headlamps. Totally loving this guy who is owning this one here is always putting some stuff on it. And I can remember the stuffed piggy there because I was once also scared when I was seeing it. <laughs> and my first plan for yesterday, by the way, guys, has been to go to the um, Globetrotter meeting at the Unimog Museum in uh, Gaganau. But well, I didn't go there because of the weather and I'm knowing that they're parking at the grass and I don't want it to walk through the mud and losing my shoes and so on. Do not feed guys, do not feed. Well, can't get enough of this wonderful Alfa Romeo. But well, I was actually walking to here because of the Volkswagen Golf Mark 1 Cabriolet and right beside you can see a Volkswagen Golf Mark 2 that stands 16 valve and GTI of course not 100% certain if it's really one because well on it is also a common thing at the uh, Volkswagen community. So here's something about a magazine. It's also looking very mint when seeing these seats. Ah, this must be one of the later ones because the steering wheels, I can remember them also on the Golf Mark III, so this particular Golf Cabriolet was built for quite a long time. So the successor of this one has been the uh, Golf III Cabriolet. Beautiful guys, beautiful. But also this one, loving the color. And well, I'm still seeing two cars. That I have of him get no control screen. And then I will just take the wall inside of the screen. And I'm checking out if there's also something uh, at the free stuff, free entrance area, level zero and level one that I can film. So anyway guys here Volkswagen Golf Mark II. And this part here behind the Mercedes Museum is really very windy. <laughs> and I'm just noticing something, guys. So these are the um, door handles of the Audi A3 or uh, maybe other than another um, Audi. Most people don't like them because it's not this easy to open the door than people want. And well, here's also the Volkswagen Golf again. And yes, convertible. These tail lights, by the way, are OEM, so the 
the series production never had one like these. This guys is an S202, so the Mercedes-Benz C-Class, the first generation of the C-Class, and it's the Estate. And by the way, guys, the Estate was uh, not sold in the United States of America, at least not when it was brand new. So of course, some um, imports of used ones maybe have happened. And here guys, this is an SL Roadster R107.